I'd like to talk about our recent work on predicting and presenting test difficulty for crowdsourcing food rescue platforms. My name is Ryan Shi at the University of Pittsburgh. This is joint work with my collaborators at Kunagaman, UAUC, and Food Rescue Hero. Food waste and food insecurity are two important problems that unfortunately coexist in many parts of the world. And food rescue platforms, they receive safe, edible food donations from restaurants and other businesses and send them to organizations that serve low resource communities. And then they rely on volunteers to claim these tasks and actually make the delivery. And thanks to these volunteers, these platforms are able to rapidly scale their operation. In the US alone, there are already over 300 cities where food rescue platforms are providing basic necessities to communities in need. We have been partnering with Food Rescue Hero, and through the platform they develop, our work is reaching over 25 different cities across North America, serving a network of over 45,000 volunteers and thousands of donors and recipient organizations. That said, these platforms need many volunteers to stay afloat, but volunteers, after all, they are not employees. Active volunteers have a very high turn rate, and one contributing factor is an unfavorable first experience due to conditions such as confusing pickup locations or long travel time. So these kind of platforms, they are eager to retain their volunteers by identifying rescues that are easier to recommend and also symmetrically identifying challenging rescues and gear them towards more experienced volunteers. And centering our study around this challenge, we make the following three contributions. First, we develop a hybrid model to predict the difficulty level of each upcoming rescue trip. We assembled a food rescue difficulty data set with expert labels from Food Rescue Hero. As manual labels are too expensive, we developed a bird-based language model to generate pseudo labels to augment the training data set. Our final model can identify the easy rescues with 0.71 AUC and the hard ones with 0.68 AUC, significantly outperforming the baselines. And second, we conduct focus group sessions with 10 volunteers and staff members of this organization to investigate how do we integrate such a prediction model into volunteers' interaction with the platform. The study shows that the integration method that presents the most information and allows the most volunteering autonomy is most preferred. And the user study also reveals that volunteers want to better understand the rationale behind the model's difficulty predictions. And towards this end, we developed three methods to generate explanations tailored to our end users. They are natural language explanations, tag-based explanations, and augmented text-based uh, explanations. We demonstrate the unique advantages of each of these methods with, with real examples in our paper. In the end, our ML models, the scaffolding findings, and the model explanation results are in the process of being adopted at Food Rescue Hero.